It's like some uh, a dough. No. Hey, Justin. Now you done got skate. Make oh, cake. Huh. You still say, like, hey y'all. This is KK. We already know. How <laughs> they already know? Carrot. Mm. It's big carrot. We're gonna but we gonna we're gonna trade the butter, I mean the vegetable oil for butter and the water for milk. And see how it turn out. You ready? Mm -hmm. o'clock but I just woke up I didn't want to get up I still don't want to get up I don't know why I'm so tired but I need to get up so I can get day to her medicine and wash my hair and my mama get off work at one o'clock she want me to go grocery shopping with her. But I'm so tired. Why? I don't know. I was tired yesterday. I ain't vlogged yesterday. But me and KK made a cake. Mm. I guess I'm gonna go over here so I can get in the shower and wash my hair. I see y'all. I just want to say, hey, today is the 5th, February 5th, it's Monday. Whew, so yeah, I will be back. Hi guys, so I'm up. I just showered and washed my hair. I did my um skincare off camera. Cause I said y'all probably tired of watching me wash my face and put some lotion on. I don't know if y'all can see me that good. Let me go get my other light. I don't know if they get a light. Like.
I guess we'll find out when I get ready to edit, but I washed my hair in the shower. I don't know if y'all can tell. But this is a whole, I wish I could just put this. I mean, I can in this. I want to it So the back don't got none of those ends anymore. It's just this front. And it really just right here, right here. This one will be kind of short. But I ain't gonna worry about it. So, I feel like I look washed out. I don't know. But, I'm trying something different. I'm not gonna, um, well, not really different, but I'm not, um, I'm not, um, <gasps> I don't know. What I'm trying to say, maybe I should get on my hair stuff before I put it like. What I need? Yeah, I don't see my hair stuff, or am I just like? Oh, okay. Use this. I was just blind. But I'm not. This time I'm not. Normally, I, when I wash my hair and put stuff in it, I put it in a bun. But this time, I'm just gonna. Um, after I put the product in, I'm gonna let it air dry. Why I couldn't say it. So yeah, I'm not pardoning it in any kind of way. So. Yeah, I already know I always do my hair half and half. start off with oil and I wanted to um I feel like I look dark but um what I was gonna say I want to tell y'all about a message God gave me that he wanted me to tell y'all. So, it's crazy because I know y'all probably, if you watch my vlogs, you know that I can tell y'all all the time God used to, you know, give me messages and talk to me and stuff. And it was like he had started doing it in parables, but then it's like he started giving me clarification even more of what he was saying to me. And so, when I did uh, one on my recent fast, he gave me a message. Like, and it's not like I kind of say I used to say he used to come. He comes to me in dreams, but it's really not dreams because, for a fact, I don't be asleep. Yet. If I could say it's any stage of sleep, I would say. And this, this is my hair with just the curl hydrator. I think that's what this is. I ain't do liquid moisture refresher. Y'all know I'm using Camilla Rose. But yeah, and he told me, well, let me explain to y'all first how he, so when I first started my journey was good and like, I really got on track and was doing everything I was supposed to do 
And before I slept out, he would give me messages and those messages would be like stuff he wanted me to tell the people. And the first one he gave me was about telling people not to wait too long. And another one, I can't remember what the other one was. I can't remember. But I remember I put the second one on TikTok. Um, but this one is like, he was like, I want you to put it on TikTok. I want you to put it on your YouTube and Facebook. And yeah, normally like when he give me a message, I put it on my Facebook too. And... This time, the message he got, well, I'm still all over the place. So I was supposed to be telling y'all. Like, so, you know how, like, sometimes, well, not sometimes, when he want to tell me something or give me a message, it's like, I get real sleepy. It's like, I get so sleepy that I can't fight it. And I'm like, and I, be like, I wasn't just this sleepy, so what's going on? And then it's like, I get in real sleep. If you know anything about Sleep pattern. I think REM is like your sleep right before you actually go to sleep. And he is like, do you like back in the day cartoons? You know, like the '90s cartoons, where like the black and white Mickey Mouse. That's how they used to come, and it's like they would actually play out like that. Like it was going down like the um the film strip, and like it'll be showing me. And like cartoon characteristics, what he want me to tell people. And I know a lot of people probably gonna think I'm crazy because a lot of um, Christians don't talk about stuff like this. They don't. And I think too that's something that's missing. Like a lot of stuff you don't experience spiritually, we ain't prepared for it because nobody has ever told us. But I'm gonna tell y'all. So. He would give it to me like that, and this time I'll just have to like kind of wait and like, okay, you gonna tell me what this means? And he would tell me, and but with this last one, I don't know if it was because, well, I'm pretty sure it was because you know when you fasting, you ain't got nothing to scratch in you, you only like really got your word, and you know, your mind is way more open than it would be if you wasn't fasting. And this is the hair with all the products. And he would, this time when he was showing me, it's like as it was going on, it was just like, I was getting clarification of what the message was right then and there. And I'm like, okay. It was it wasn't scary because I knew what it was because that wasn't my first time experiencing him giving me a message. But it was weird because of how heightened the message was because I didn't have to wait for him to tell me what he meant. It's like as as it was going, he was telling me. So in this message, he basically told me that he wanted me to tell her, but like right now the enemy is using and using sex and alcohol. I hope my mic can hear me. It wasn't. I hope y'all still can hear me. Cause since since my camera failed, when I dropped my camera, my mic slack hasn't been right. But it's like he was like Satan has been using I won't even say Satan. I'm just gonna say the enemy, whether you your own enemy or you really let Satan get you because Satan can't get us unless we give him access to. So, whichever is your situation, it's being used um sex and alcohol is what he's really using right now to deter us from the Lord because one, fornic fornicating is one of God's things that we all know he tells us not to do. And a lot of us get drawn into doing it anyway. My friend needs a lot of life. But a lot of us get drawn into it anyway. And what he told me, how he told me to describe it. Well, let me tell y'all how the, the message was going first. Then I'll tell y'all. 
how he was telling me to describe it. And it's like, okay, I seen, it wasn't like people was having sex, but it's like, it's crazy because I knew that that's what the message was about, but basically it was just, <clears throat> it just showed me like people were, I'm gonna cut it. Um, basically, it showed me saying, for the enemy. And it showed me he was very happy. It's like he was celebrating. And in the midst of him celebrating, it had like all his little, all his little demon friends. They were with him gallivanting and having fun and rejoicing because he, he knew that if he couldn't get up with nothing else, sex and alcohol, it was gonna be his number one thing to get us. And one was sex because of sex involves a lot of emotion and I'ma let that dry a little bit before I put the honey in it. But yeah, sex requires a lot of emotion. One because that's something we're not supposed to do until we're married because back in Bible days, sex was the indicator that you and someone had made that bond together and y'all were married because once once that man and that woman combine in that type of way, they become one. And with, and with us doing it now, just say, you go and have sex with somebody that you know, that, I mean, well at the time, you don't know. Well, we, we know sometimes, but we still too. But, like I was saying, we um get involved with this person and start having sex. And once you and that person become intimate on that level, y'all create a bond. They problems gonna become your problems. Your problems gonna become theirs. And sometimes it's not always that way because sometimes the enemy can be using a person and they don't even know it. And like, it's crazy. But that's another story. But like I was saying, once you and that person become intimate on that level, y'all have created a bond only you're supposed to create in marriage with the person that God has sent to you to make that type of bond with. And once you do that with the wrong person, it's gonna get crazy. And when I tell you it's gonna get crazy, your emotions gonna be all over the place. You gonna be like, when you you gonna wanna leave that person alone sometimes. And you gonna, like, you gonna be wondering like, why can't I stop talking to this person? Even if you stop talking to him, you can't stop thinking about him like, what is happening? Y'all, basically, y'all souls are intertwined. And you have to do some hard praying to be, be released from that person. And it's crazy that, I feel like we are told not to have sex, but we ain't really given context on why, you know? And I feel like we need more context, context as to why y'all, like, okay, you telling me not to have sex, but why can't I have sex? What is the reason I'm not supposed to be doing this? And they'll be just like, oh, in the Bible, you're just not supposed to have sex. And you young, that's why it's good to start when you're young. So you can understand why you're doing these things. But once you have sex with that person, your, your, your spirits are intertwined. You will be, sometimes you'll be feeling down and don't even know what's going on and it's because your spirit has intertwined with this person's spirit and now you're having some of their emotions basically like the stuff they going through in life is altering you and you don't even know what it is because everybody ain't even told you but you done made this connection with this person and now you just like lord i got these problems i don't know what's going on but it's because you done made that tie with that person and emotions can lead you to do some crazy things and like a lot of times you sometimes 
when you're not grounded, our emotions can make us want to do some crazy stuff. So that's the way he's using it because one, we're making these spiritual connections with people we shouldn't even be connecting with. And two, once these connections are made, our spirit is intertwined and it's just, it's gonna be hard. Like really hard. I might have two different tests now. But that's another story. But yeah, did I put, no I didn't put any of these on. I gotta put some in the front too. Why I put these in the front? But yeah, we have to learn like, God not telling us not to do this stuff just because he's like, oh, I don't want you to do it just because I don't want you to do it. He's telling us not to do it because he know the attachment problems and the issues and all the stuff you'll go. And it just don't happen to women too. Men can get in these situations with these women and it'll be so crazy because men ain't the only crazy people. It's women too. But yeah, it's just a matter of us not getting in these situations and I feel like like I said if we knew earlier or um like ahead of time why we aren't supposed to do it it would be better and it's I don't know a lot but yeah though you being intertwined with somebody you're gonna cause a lot of emotions a lot of emotional damage especially if it's somebody you're not supposed to be with a lot of emotional damage a lot of spiritual damage and like being connected with the wrong person can stop so many blessings. Like God don't want to do so much stuff in your life. But he ain't going to do it because you got Susan May or Jethro over here. That God knows he gives it to you right now. They're going to either ruin it for you. They're going to either ruin it for you. Or they're going to use you and mess it up for you in that way. And he's not going to give it to you. And a lot of times the people that... Sometimes we be so discombobulated and intertwined in these people, we can't even hear God trying to talk to us. Our sole focus is what we doing with this person or why this happening with this person or why it ain't working. And then we get stuck on what we think we should have and knowing that that person not going to even bring us half of what we know we should have. But you still can't even move. Like they are the polar opposite of what you know you're supposed to have. But for some reason, you just can't leave this person alone. I need to clip that back out. You know what I'm but yeah, and two with alcohol. Well, and I've been sick. Well, I won't just say sick, but like being involved with the wrong person can really distort your thought process. Hey, you going against stuff you know you wouldn't want to be doing. And two, with the alcohol, it's like, <laughs> alcohol is a real big judgment changer. Like, you drink alcohol, everything go out the window. I don't care if you say you drunk, you think better when you drunk. Cause I used to be the person that I drive better when I drunk. How I know I drive better when I'm drunk and I'm drunk? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But alcohol is a bit distorted too because one, once you drink the alcohol, all logic is gone. And you will do some things while you're drinking the alcohol that you know you wouldn't do if you were sober. And that's how he gets you too. And I mean, alcohol play a part in a lot. It's basically just a mind distorted. You will be thinking sometimes, say, okay, I know I'm supposed to be doing it, but you still doing it because the alcohol got you. So, I mean, I don't know if I just portrayed it in the way he wanted me to, but um, hopefully, y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, everybody that's drunk alcohol before, they know the alcohol really do perceive the mind. Like you'll be willing to do some stuff knowing you're supposed to be doing this stuff. And you'll think it's okay because the alcohol got you crazy. And not only just alcohol but drugs too. 
Y'all feel like my hair two different textures in the back. Y'all can tell me. But yeah, alcohol and sex are both of them. Yeah, my hair too different. <laughs> both of them distorts the thought process. Both of them um, causes confusion. Both of them can cause you not to hear from God the way you're supposed to be hearing from Him. And until we clear ourselves for that. We understand. And I could talk about my situation, but it's been a little over two years since I had six. I've been abstinent for two years. And I don't like to say celibate because I looked up the definition of celibate, and celibate means to abstain from sex and marriage. I one day hope to get married, so I'm not abstaining from marriage. And abstinent is just to abstain from, you know, something that. You know you're no longer wanting to be craving for and stuff. So yeah, I'm abstaining. I've been abstinent for over two years, and the clarity and not having to worry about other people and not having to have the emotion and not know where they're coming from. When now you know half of them don't even be your problems. I want to let it answer, but then I want to put the buzz around. But yeah, he wanted me to tell everybody, and it was crazy because he he told me like a week ago, almost a week now. It ain't been quite a week, and I wouldn't do, I wouldn't talk about it because I'm like, how am I gonna talk about these? People gonna think I'm crazy. I'm getting on social media saying sex is crazy and all this. And when I went to church yesterday, my pastor basically spoke to me for God because he was like, God tell us to do something and we don't want to do it. I'm trying to see how my hair two different textures like that. He was like, God speaks to us and tell us to do stuff and we don't want to do it because we don't want people to look at us crazy and we don't know how they're going to perceive us and the whole time, you know, that don't even matter because you're not doing it for you, you're doing it for God anyway. So this is the hair. And I was like, dang. So on the way, when we got home from church yesterday, I was talking to my brother about it. And he was like, it's crazy because when he was sitting in church, when we were sitting in church, he was like, God came to him and kind of gave him the same message. So yeah. Be obedient. Don't worry about what people are going to say or how they're going to perceive you because if God is telling you to do something, you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to worry about how nobody gonna look at you or what they gonna say so whether you're speaking for the Lord or you're speaking for some other day people are gonna think you crazy anyway so yeah that's all I got um I'm about to go give Daisy her medicine I'm late but I'm just gonna give it to her late tonight and I might blow dry my hair a little bit I wish I had a diffuser that's why but yeah, my mom want to go grocery shopping today, so I guess I'll go grocery shopping with her and take y'all. Cause I ain't doing it today, this week. Well, cause y'all know I'm up, this vlog is gonna be uploaded on Wednesday, and yesterday I didn't do nothing. Today I'm not doing nothing, and tomorrow. I got a doctor's appointment, so we're going to Tuscaloosa, but that's about it. And KK want to do another video where we try the food like she did with me that time. So we probably do that, but we had to go buy the stuff. So we might do that for you guys, but yeah. I will talk to y'all later, I guess, because I ain't got enough to tell y'all. As y'all can see, we, we didn't go grocery shopping. But my mom about to do my hair, cause it's shrinkage. But yeah, she's just gonna play it and leave like the little curly pieces out. Huh? So.
I think. Yeah, it's, it's Y'all did look good. Stay with me late at night. Wait, let me see. I think it's February 6th. It look good. Stay with me late at night. Because I told her she could go with me today. I told her we leave at 1130. This girl been up since 7 o'clock. <laughs> 7 o'clock. Then she went back to sleep. She done woke up again, so I just went ahead and let her to Cabal. Why she now she talking about it's 10:33, baby? We ain't leave till 11:30. What you want? What she want me to do? <laughs> what you trying to do, girl? Ready to go somewhere? What was it, Andy? At work. Oh my God. Huh? Put it in my face like that. Cause you scratching me out. See that how I know I ain't ready for key. Cause I ain't ready to get up yet. <laughs> she been up since 7 o'clock. For what? Why? Cause I wake up early. But not for school. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Business. Y'all, I guess she finally happy now we left the house. You happy now? Yeah. Why are you stressing me out so bad? Why? We heading to Tuskegee's. I wanted to do the little make your own bracelet thing like they've been doing on TikTok, but she want to do a food review. I hope she know this ain't going to be no expensive food review. You got a budget. All right. But um, we on our way to Tuskegee. So I got to stop in Greenberg and get some gas. My appointment ain't until 1 o'clock. What time is it? It's 11.30. 11.28. We're supposed to leave home at 11.30 while somebody was rushing me and we two minutes early. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see y'all when we uh, get to Tuskegee. We have two minutes. What you got to say now? Hmm? What you got to say? They already know you've been asleep the whole time. Because I told them you've been asleep the whole time. You ain't got nothing to say for yourself? You were scratching me to leave home, then slept the whole way.
So what we gotta get? We don't need nothing right here. It doing what? Cause you gotta make it go. You said it just kept the first big. Lord, she wanna push the big and can't even push the big. Then she run over my feet. We gonna fight. So what we gotta get? We need. What you ate? I ate this before when BK ate this. She don't eat the regular car. Stomach gonna be on fire. No, I don't eat this. I don't eat the hot ice. Mac and cheese Cheetos macaroni. That's good. I know that's good because my mama got it. And grandma Mary got it. Who got this? I'm cooking wings for work and salad. Okay, so whatever we need. Come on, turn around. Yeah. Did I do the video at home too? Yeah. Oh. You, you picked the worst bag they had up with them. Who the cook is it? Do you cook? I didn't know. Nope. I didn't huh? know. Do yes, you did. No, I did. You did. They said. They say you said that you were gonna get the work bigger. Help me. Yeah, I broke my tripod in Walmart, so I just got this one until I get home. Hopefully, it works. Yeah, KK been doing treat me real bad. Yeah. She said, she said, ain't nobody gonna subscribe to my channel. And she said, I ain't gonna get me no plaque on my wall. Mm. So we gotta prove her wrong. At least for fun. But yeah, I guess I'll take her to get something to eat, even though she being mean to me. Should I still take her to get something to eat? Wow. Well.
said no? Yeah. She said no. We we're in a market. I like it. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? It's an ottoman. You just put anything in it. This is where I brought all that stuff from last time and that you ate it. So now you gotta pick some stuff. So we can try it. We got. Pizza. We had that last time. Yeah. This is gonna be so, so fun. Um. That's funny stuff. What's it gonna get? That's funny. Huh? That's funny stuff. You got stuff. That's tiny. That's tiny stuff. Yeah, we had it last time. Yeah. Mochi, but it got the bubble milk tea on the inside. We can get that. You gonna try it? Yeah. What flavor is it? Okay. You gonna try it? Yeah. Hmm. Get that little black thing. Where you got the stuff from? It don't have the same thing though. What is that? You know. What? That's a gummy. You had that last time. The pizza thing. I had that. What is going on? This is Hello Kitty. This is Hello Kitty. That's Hello Kitty. And that's why you want Y'all, this is what I got my, um, oh, this yeah. is where I got my glass kettle from. Oh, Somebody at my mom's house broke it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had them last night. Y'all try strawberry? They're raised beer. We tried them the last night. They were good. Yeah, it was They go chocolate and caramel. I want to try another drink. A drink?
see what. Going to um, put across your neck. We're going in five below to see if they got these cups. I seen. I don't know if I seen it on Facebook or or on TikTok. But we're gonna see if they got them. Oh, and my mom. This is magic ink. I'm just letting y'all know. They didn't have a cup. You know I have the cash up. I know. Yeah, so. This this girl can stress me out so bad. But we about to try all this stuff we got from World Market. We're doing another video. You've been doing all the talking, now you scared. So the first thing we're gonna try is ocean bomb bubble milk tea. Bubble dump. Okay. And I just put my hand on it. And some have ways like see? You see the oh that's what you have to put on the table. Where's the bubble? This brown? <laughs> You don't like it. You pick. Not bad. Mm. On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. A one out of ten. I'll give it a four. Thing we got pop it up. dip and pop Hello Kitty strawberry artificial flavor popping candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something else she picked again. Oh, and wait, you do one or two. You picked that. Yeah, I know you picked that. And and you got one stuff in here. Mm. It's looking good. Hold it on. It's looking good. You. Okay. Three, two, one. Wait. Three, two, one. Try these, even though we had these the last time. Yeah, we had those the last time I y'all shoot in. Well, that is good. It tastes like bubble tea. It's still in there. It wasn't that small, though. Okay. Thank 
It's a lemon tart. Oh, you didn't say how, how you like this? The popping candy. Oh, the popping candy? 10 out of 10. And this, a 10 out of 10. You know what about this juice? There, right there. In the can. I want a 10. Ah, that's nasty. That, 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 yeah. that one probably be good. No, it's not. I told you. You don't want it, do you? Mm. Mm. Do we supposed to put this for free? It's not. Okay. It's like some. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Don't bite it yet. Mm -hmm. I licked it. I licked my hand. It tastes like tea. It tastes like boba tea. Yeah. But it's inside a mochi. I give it a ten out of ten. A four out of ten. A ten out of ten. I ain't gotta have the same number you got. A four out of ten. Time. She got strawberry, mm -hmm. and I got watermelon. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shoot. It's really over there. Wait, you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, two. I can't do it. You're not holding me. Yeah. Well, eat it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ew, I got smoke in the front of me. You gotta do it hard. Yeah, it stuck in my hand. Metal block on my hand. Oh, two, one. You like it? If you think it's a 10 out of 10, it's a 10 out of 10. So next we got these cheese to pokey rice cakes. Hmm? You pick that. Mm -hmm. The milk, the spoons. I'm afraid to try it. What is happening? Cheese? Yeah, no, I can't breathe. You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got small one. Okay. Oh, you let that door open. One, two, two, three. You shouldn't have leaked it. One, two, three. Pop. It ain't bad. You can't lie. Mm. I don't know if you can swallow it yet.
Mm. You know you can, huh? Say so if you like it or not. Oh, no. You don't like it. <laughs> I give her a five out of ten. Yeah. A five out of ten. It tell like somebody had it for me. I don't know. Yeah, it does. No, I don't want it. It's good. Why are you giving me a five out of ten? Because you just faking. 